Good morning guys, welcome to our channel, my name is Toho and I'm here in the village as usual. <laughs> Goodness, I'm ready for a proper holiday, one of these days I'm going to get myself out of this village. <laughs> so anyways, I don't know if I have an interesting video for you today or not because I have no idea what we're doing. We wanted to go and play golf today and um, visit some friends but Amon is not feeling hundreds and his feet are terribly swollen from um, the harvest day and selling at the market so <laughs> we just want to give him some time to recover meanwhile yesterday was December 25th and I was undoing my hair and I didn't finish so I decided to go ahead and finish it up but I don't know what to do with it like I don't know how to plait and that's why I always do like uh, mini braids um, but I also don't like to go to the hair salon for people to do my hair because every time I've gone I've had damage so <laughs> anyway I'm gonna stop bubbling but I'm hoping this video is gonna be interesting by the way recently we hired a boy to weed the space here going all that way and then it turns over there just to weed up the driveway um the weeds were quite tall it was these yellow flowers that you see here and yeah and they cleaned it up um so yeah they did leave some some small weeds like this just because they were not able to hoe all the way because it was the ground was swaggy but anyway they were able to do that and um so these flowers that are still left is this is where we've planted maize and as we weed for the maize we're going to pull out all these flowers because it's it's raining currently so the ground is soft and it's easy just to pull them out so they basically covered all the way here the other day i'm going to kill the snake here they covered all the way here i just want to show you because uh we've got some weeding done and I've got my portion to do and so they went all the way there came there to the driveway there were like tall thorn trees on the driveway they started to grow because it's pouring and they got rid of them so but the only drawback is last year we hired uh, ladies to weed for us in our yard during rainy season and after they they weeded when the rain continued to pour the weeds grew back again so keeps happening but i just wanted to show you so that i can show you my portion that i'm going to cover um so so they went all the way to our hedge we actually asked them to to weed in between our hedge here and they they left they didn't someone decided they were not understanding him so we'll we'll do it ourselves but it's cleaned up we're happy with the work that they did so the grass is growing tall with the rain and he's going to come and um, what do you call mow it um, <laughs> so my weeds start here from the drive the parking <laughs> this parking thing we need to organize it very well but anyway my weeds start here I have to come this way I want you to see so that when you see the after, you see how much work I've done. And then, come this way. I had weeded here recently and it regrew. Come this way. I'm actually just get walking in tall weeds like this because the other day we found a nearly two meter long um, snake skin that was shed and uh, it was 1.8 meters so all this is my weeds so Amon wants to work on the backyard he wants to do a garden he says he wants to do it nicer than um, uh, the, the, the front one so that we can enjoy chilling here in the back and as you can see he's already started outlining it with the stones so yeah this is my my hustle oh yeah then as i come back from the back i have to do all these ones on the edge of the house there are some plants like this is potato this is mint this is thyme 
that's oregano this celery there there are some plants we've planted but there are definitely weeds on the edge of the house Isn't the ground like our hut? If we don't pull out the weeds from the ground, it will turn into a forest, even with our huts. If we don't examine them and check what's in there and weed out all the bad stuff, we'll grow a forest of bitterness in our huts. It's amazing how many lessons you, will, you learn when you work on the outdoors. This is Lantana, a very annoying weed. Actually, it's a good that I got it while it's so small. It's harmful for cows and goats. Um, it likes to grow along the fence, so we've been trying to get rid of it as much as possible. It's only easy for me now because it's rained, so the ground is a bit soft. Lantana root is, is not that deep, but it's a lot of, of hard work. Another Lantana bites the dust. Okay, fun fact. Uh, Lantana can burn while it's green. So people like to use it for hedge. If they have it growing along their, where they want their fence to be, sometimes because people can't afford fence, they'll leave it to become hedge. Um, but if you have a bushfire, Lantana will still catch fire. So it's a very, very annoying <laughs> weed. Asha has decided that he needs to come and help me. I'm feeling finished. The Lantanas like took a lot of energy out of me. Hey, Asha. Okay. Okay, so a weed is starting from the driveway. And I've picked all the big weeds. So... I'm going to rake the small little weeds and then when I, where I have weeds left behind I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with a hoe. I've just been pulling weeds this side. And now you can see my hedge which I recently planted because it was completely buried in weeds. But there's trees like this, some of the weeds, the, the root of the trees are outside the fence. And I've already weeded this portion, I'm going to rake and throw out the the weeds and like this lantana here is too close to the fence difficult to handle and all these weeds that are too close to the fence are difficult to handle but i'm going to get rid of them so anyway i am finished <laughs> I'm, I'm going into the house i was asking myself how is it that i managed to have time to eat today and i suddenly remembered that i didn't clean the house it's a holiday and it's a weekend it's a sunday and um in Africa, we do have people pop in and visit that we are not expecting. So that's why I like to have the house clean. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to clean the house. And um, just in case. Well, I like to start with the house first. But sometimes when I start with the house first, um, I don't cover other things. Because I'll be tired by the time I finish. But yeah, I'm going to do the house. 
and hopefully I'll show you the results. If I'm not, if I don't finish today, I may finish tomorrow, and you'll see the results of the the weekend tomorrow. While I'm waiting for Owen to finish up in the garden so that we can have dinner, I'm going to catch up on a bit of reading. This is Every Storm by Lori Week. I am a Christian romance buff, by the way, it's not sponsored. Um, I have a small collection of uh, <laughs> a Christian uh, romance book library. <laughs> That's pretty much what I like to buy. Um, the last time I bought books, which was a long time ago. And yeah. I am rereading everything. I'm nearly done rereading all of them. But I'm really, I've, I've become quite selfish with my books. I used to share them with people and they would return them destroyed. So now I keep them in the bedroom. I, my, my bookshelf in the other house was in the living room. And now I keep them in the bedroom so that I don't have to share them. <laughs> and this one I didn't buy. Um, a friend of mine has given me a box full of books a couple of times. And this was one of the first books I ever read that she gave me to read. She loaned me while I was a teenager. And then uh, eventually she gave it to me. And then a friend borrowed it at work when I was still living in Bart. And then when I wanted it back, she had lost it. So just before I moved to Zim, she gave me another box of books. And this book was in the box. I was quite happy to have it back. But yeah, I have a whole series of books that didn't get returned. The O'Malley series, and I love that series. Um, <laughs> I have books that look like they went for a swim after people borrowed them. So now I'm like, I'm done. I don't borrow people books. So yeah, stories for other days. <laughs> so guys, we're cooking a late lunch. Um, Amon is working in the garden. If you can see him, he's the one there. <laughs> He had planted a maize twice now. He planted and it didn't, it rained and then it didn't rain for a long time. Planted again, it rained, it didn't rain for a long time. So each time the maize didn't come out. So he's putting it in for the third time when I thought he was going to spend the day resting. <laughs> so anyway, he's working. I've just finished getting the house. We've got dinner, early, early dinner going. And um, let me just say bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> he's talking. I have no idea who he's talking to, but bye. So we are finally sitting down to eat our late supper. It's looking good. I'm happy because I'm famished. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video.